Hi, my name is Daniel McKinley, and today I'm going to show you the two to four player game Flying Goblin, made by Yellow Games. So to play Flying Goblin, you need to set up the box. The inside of the box is actually built in a certain way to show a lot of different rooms. It comes mostly pre-built, but underneath the box container you also have the player boards as well as the pieces and a lot of the tokens you'll need for the game. Check out the instructions on how to set up based on the number of players, but I have only one player set up right here. On the player's board you're going to have a number of different types of goblins. You're going to have two goblins that won't fit on the board and that's because those are the two that you're going to be using. And you also have four building pieces which we'll talk about here in a bit. The goal of the game is to be the first player to build their tower and have it last for a full round or the first player to 25 of these little diamond gems. On your turn, everybody's going to be taking a turn at the same time. They all have their catapult in front of them. They're going to be placing a goblin on the catapult, either standing up or lying down, and they're going to hit it to launch it into the box, like so. When all players have have completed, or when any player has completed launching their goblin into the box, you say stop, and when only one player has goblins remaining, they may take one final shot. If the goblin lands outside of the box but is on, but is on your side of the box, you can still take it up and launch it again. That's totally fine. But if you launch it across the box onto another player's side, then that goblin is lost for the round. Then, at the end of the round, you check to see which goblins have been activated. If they land in a room that gives you a gem, you take a gem. If they land in a room that gives you a coin, you take a coin, whether it's one or two value. And there'll be other rooms that'll be steal a gem from other players, or trade multiple coins uh, for, for diamonds, or vice versa. And there's also two rooms that give you extra builds. So let's talk about this at the, end of the, at the end of each round. You have the option to build one of the goblins or one of the building pieces. Each of the goblins have a range of prices. The small goblins cost three, four, and five dollars, or five coins. Each of these robbing goblins right here, the little thieves, they'll get placed right there and they cost three coins each. And then your tower pieces range from three then three, then four, then five coins to be built. When you build a thief goblin, you place it on one of these pillars, and every round he remains staying up, you get to take an extra gem. So he'll be, they'll be stealing diamonds as long as they're standing up. Once another player knocks them down, well then they go back to your board to buy later on. Whereas the tower, you build it on one of the spots available, and then the next piece, and the next piece, and so on. If your tower gets knocked down, then you only lose one piece for that round, but that still has to get rebuilt later on. And then finally, if you're able to build your entire tower, and it stays up for an entire round of launching goblins, or a player who gets 25 or more of the diamonds, wins the game flying, flying goblin. So that's how you play. Oh, one more thing to note, we're going to add this on. There's also a king. The player who knocks them off also gets five diamonds for doing so. And if you're able to launch your goblin into the center spot, like so, into the king's chambers, that would have been awesome, you get three diamonds as well. Player with the most points wins. As you can see, flying goblin is really fun. It's just pure silliness. The, there's going to be lots of chaos in it. it. I've enjoyed it every time I've played it, and I've seen grown adults, men, everybody just laughing hysterically by the end of it. So if you'd like to try it out, come by Zia Comics in Las Cruces, New Mexico, where you can try Flying Goblin. Get nerdy with me. Tell me what game that you get on. Is it card or What kind of class do you play, girl? In an RPG.